Hey everyone, today we're diving into the world of Chromebooks to compare three popular models. The Acer Chromebook Spin 714, the Asus Chromebook Flip CX5, and the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. With so many options on the market, it can be tough to decide which one is right for you in 2024. Throughout this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the features, performance, design, and value of each of these Chromebooks. From the sleek and versatile Acer Spin 714 to the high-performance Asus CX5 and the budget-friendly Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5, we'll cover it all. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which Chromebook suits your needs best. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's find out which of these Chromebooks should you buy in 2024. And remember, don't skip any part of this video to get the full comparison. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and check out the links in the description for more information on each laptop. All right, let's get started. So I got my hands on the Acer Chromebook Spin 714, and let's talk about what's good and not so good about this device. Let's start with the good stuff. The build quality is surprisingly solid for the price tag. It's got this nice dark silver metallic look that gives off a professional vibe, kind of like what you'd see in Acer's higher end Windows laptops. The display lid is nice and sturdy, which is a relief because nobody wants a wobbly screen. Plus, the hinges are just right, not too stiff, not too loose. When it comes to size, it's not the smallest two-in-one out there, but it's also not a behemoth. It's about the size of Apple's MacBook Pro 14, just a tad thicker. At 302 pounds, it's not the lightest either, but it won't break your back. Now let's talk about that keyboard. I was pleasantly surprised by how good it feels to type on. The keys have a nice amount of travel and they feel satisfyingly clicky. The layout is spacious and I like that Acer replaced the usual function keys with ones that are actually useful for Chrome OS tasks. But, and here's the but, the touchpad is a bit of a letdown. It's on the small side which can be annoying if you're used to lots of multi-touch gestures. Scrolling feels cramped and it's not the most pleasant experience. Moving on to the display, it's a 14 inch touchscreen with a decent resolution. Text and images look crisp, but it's not the most vibrant display out there. If you're used to those fancy OLED screens, this might feel a bit dull in comparison. Now let's talk about the performance. This thing packs an Intel Core i5 processor, eight gigabyte of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. That's pretty good for a Chromebook and it shows in the benchmarks. It handled everything I threw at it, from browsing with a dozen tabs open to playing some Android games. Speaking of games, some worked fine, others not so much. It's hit or miss, really. Battery life is decent, but not mind-blowing. It lasted about 11 hours and 46 minutes in a test, which is okay, but not the best I've seen in a Chromebook. Connectivity-wise, it's got you covered. Two Thunderbolt 4 ports, USB-A, HDMI, and a headphone jack. The Wi-Fi 6E support is a nice touch, too. The Asus Chromebook Flip CX-5 is a powerhouse. It's got an Intel Core i7-1255U processor and a whopping 16 gigabyte of RAM. That's more than what most Chromebooks dare to dream of. And guess what? It's not just for show. This thing can handle serious tasks without breaking a sweat. I even tried gaming on it and it held up surprisingly well thanks to the Intel Iris XA graphics. In terms of build, it feels premium. Asus didn't skimp here. The chassis is a mix of metal, glass, and plastic, and it feels solid. The keyboard is backlit and has a nice feel to it with a decent key travel distance. Plus, there's even a number pad, which is a nice touch. The touchpad and touchscreen are responsive and work well, but the real star is the stylus. It's super lightweight and charges in seconds. You can stash it in a slot on the side of the Chromebook, and it's ready to go whenever you need it. Drawing and writing with it is a breeze, although it's not as precise as some Windows laptops pens. The display is a 15.8 inch touchscreen with a 1920 by 1200 resolution. The colors are good, but it's not the brightest display, especially outdoors. Performance wise, this Chromebook is a beast. The Intel Core i7 and 16 gigabyte of RAM make sure everything runs smooth as butter. I even tried some Steam games, and while it's not a gaming laptop, it held its own. Just keep in mind that some games might need a bit of tweaking to run smoothly. Battery life is respectable with around 10 hours of web surfing and up to 18 hours in idle mode. However, keep in mind that the keyboard backlighting, which you can't control, is off during these tests, so real world usage might be slightly lower. So I got my hands on the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 and let's just say it's not exactly living up to the hype. First off, the good stuff. It's pretty affordable at $799 and it looks sleek on the outside. 
the abyss blue color gives it a bit of flair and the metal hood feels nice and sturdy plus it's a two in one so you can flip it around into all sorts of positions but now let's talk about the not so good stuff the display oh boy it's a 14 inch 1920 by 1200 panel and it's just not up to par colors look dull and muted like watching your favorite show in battery saver mode the glossy screen doesn't help either and with only covering 42.2% of the DCI P3 color gamut and hitting 288 nits of brightness, it falls way behind its competition. And then there's the keyboard. Typing on it felt weird, with shallow and mushy keys that didn't quite hit the mark. Sure, I managed to type faster than my average, but it wasn't exactly an enjoyable experience. The touchpad was all right, smooth but with shallow clicks. Now, let's talk about performance. The Intel Core i5 with 16 GB of RAM seemed promising, but it struggled to keep up. It scored below the mainstream laptop average on the Geekbench test, and transcoding a 4K video took longer than expected. Graphics-wise, it's got the standard Intel Iris Xe graphics chip, and it performed okay. It managed to outperform some competitors on the Civilization VI benchmark, but it's not exactly a gaming powerhouse. Battery life was also a disappointment, lasting only 8 hours and 22 minutes. Now let's touch on the audio. The top firing speakers were a letdown, with low and hollow sound that left much to be desired. Even with the Dolby Access app, there wasn't much improvement. In terms of design, it looks nice on the outside with that abyss blue color, but the interior shifts to a plastic deck and an awkward looking gray keyboard. It's not the slimmest or lightest either, so don't expect it to win any portability awards. As for ports, it's got a decent selection. Power jack, HDMI port, Thunderbolt 4 port, headphone jack, two USB type A ports, an SD card slot, and the power button. After diving into the details of the Acer Chromebook Spin 714, Asus Chromebook Flip CX5, and Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5, it's time to crown a winner for 2024. In terms of performance and versatility, the Asus Chromebook Flip CX5 stands out with its powerful Intel Core i7 processor, 16 GB of RAM, and impressive gaming capabilities. It offers a high quality build, excellent keyboard and touchpad, and the added convenience of a stylus. Despite its higher price tag, the CX5 delivers on its promise of high performance. While the Acer Chromebook Spin 7014 offers a solid build and good performance with its Intel Core i5 processor, it falls slightly short compared to the CX5 in terms of raw power and gaming potential. However, its 2-in-1 design, bright display, and robust build quality make it a strong contender for those prioritizing versatility and portability. On the other hand, the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 disappoints in several areas with its poor display, mushy keyboard, and below average battery life. Despite its lower price point, the compromises in performance and overall user experience make it difficult to recommend over the other two contenders. So if you're looking for the best all-around Chromebook in 2024 with top-notch performance and versatility, the Asus Chromebook Flip CX-5 takes the crown. Its powerful hardware, excellent build quality, and suitability for gaming make it a standout choice for those willing to invest in a premium Chromebook experience. Thank you for watching, and I hope this comparison helped you decide which Chromebook is the right choice for you. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and check out the links in the description for more information on each laptop. Until next time.